Mains of Ida continue to push across the northeastern portion of the United States. Unfortunately, there's tornado warnings. Now it's just actually a new tornado warning just southwest of Philly. That storm is going to clip the southern parts of Philadelphia. Potential tornado on the ground in that area. Uh, so still creating a bit of a mess across the northeast United States. A lot of rain as well from Virginia Beach all the way to Boston. Eventually this will move out, but you can see the area in green. Those are flash flood warnings and flood warnings across eastern Pennsylvania. So the northeast still getting hit hard by Ida and that eventually will move out the next couple of days and things will begin to improve. Meanwhile, here in northeast Oklahoma, it's dry. It's hot. We need some rain. The ponds are beginning to low, uh, lower themselves and of course uh, down to almost be dry in some ponds. So we need some rain to get those uh, ponds filled back up. All right, mold is really trying to exclaim that <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm causing issues. I'm causing issues. Unfortunately, the mold in the moderate category, but it's the ragweed that should be flashing because ragweeds in the high category. And that is a major problem for many folks this time of year. And it's going to be a while before we see an improvement. Now we do have a cool front heading our way this weekend. Saturday is going to be hot and humid. Slight chance for a few thunderstorms. A front does arrive late Saturday into Sunday, and that could bring with it a slight chance for an isolated storm. By late Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, as a front sags into the area, we're going to see those south winds Saturday switch to the north and cool us down some. So temps will fall down into the upper 80s to near 90 on Sunday. So Sunday should be a really nice day to be out at the area lakes. Right now it's just hot and it's humid. I mean, this is just the never ending summer, right? 98 degrees, dew point of 70. And that gives us humidity of 41%. Heat index value makes it feel like 100 to 103 across the area. So the humidity is back for today. The sunset 751, sunrise 655. So the days are rapidly getting shorter as we head towards fall. But the temperatures are remaining quite hot. And we can see tomorrow morning we're going to start out in the 70s. Future track radar really optimistic that we could see a few isolated storms in the morning. Unlikely to be the case with temperatures in mid 70s to start your morning by afternoon. A few clouds in the area 97 for your high prior 94 chances for rain in your area less than 20 percent. Uh, but uh, if you do get underneath one of those thunderstorms, your temperatures will drop about 10 degrees. Fingers crossed on that. South winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour, 97 on your Thursday. You know, so lows stay quite warm uh, through our Friday and Saturday morning. Friday afternoon it's going to be hot. We're going to be out in Jinx. For the big football game, I think it's week one. Um, heat index values on Friday around 100 to 105, so it will be hot even in the evening. 96 on Saturday, there's that slight chance for a few thunderstorms. Temperatures do cool on Sunday in the upper 80s. We rebound back into the mid 90s, and that cool front that was slated, la you know, of course, we were talking about last week or last night for the middle of next week doesn't look to be as strong as it did yesterday, so sticking with lower to mid 90s with the never ending summer continuing. More weather news and sports right after this.